Carter Tomsu was enjoying his freshman year at Rice University. That's quarterback on the football team. He never imagined his health would take a turn for the worse and tackle his independence. The first things I noticed were just increase in bowel movements. Like I was starting to use the restroom a ton, and and I was starting to notice uh, blood and mucus in my in my stool and definitely was not normal for me to be feeling that way. Carter says he unexpectedly had to race to the bathroom at least 15 times a day. I kind of just fought through it and I got home and finally said, let's see a doctor because I couldn't. I had to miss the bowl game that year. Carter relied on his mother who was on a mission to find the best treatment plan. You know, I just have a, an incredible super mom and she, while I was still trying to fight through the disease and, and do football, at Rice, even with this disease, um, we we knew at some point it was probably in our future, just because, or the surgery was in our future, and and she started doing some research of trying to find the best person possible. That research led them to Dr. Eric Haas, the chief of colon and rectal surgery at Houston Methodist Hospital. Oh, Carter uh, was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, and it's a disease that does affect young people such as himself. Um, it can take very many patterns, and unfortunately, in his case, the disease became a bit out of control. Carter tried different medications and a major diet change, eliminating grains, dairy, and meat from his diet, but his health just kept getting worse. I lost, at the worst, 70 pounds from this diet and the disease combined, and my gastro doctor just, and, and we decided it's not worth it. You need to be able to keep some weight on at yeah, least. Especially if it's not healthy. And I'm already a skinny guy, so imagine me about 40 pounds less. It has not only been a physically draining process, but mentally problematic as well. First thing he looks for when he's at a restaurant is where's the bathroom. Um, the last thing he leaves at a restaurant is the bathroom. And basically it comes to a point where you just don't even want to leave the house. And you get stomach cramps and pains. You start losing weight. You don't look yourself anymore. Your friends tell you, "Hey, why, why aren't you coming out? Why aren't you, uh, you know, uh, coming to dinner with us or studying for class?" And you basically, just start you start failing to thrive. I've definitely lost a lot of friends from it. I've definitely I lost my girlfriend, um, but in the end, it makes you who you are. So you can't you gotta be thankful. Carter's colonoscopy started showing precancerous cells, which alarmed doctors at his young age. We came for surgery to to remove the colon and therefore remove any risk of colon cancer. Dr. Haas performed a procedure called the J-pouch, building a reservoir in the place of a colon that can be reattached in a few weeks. With the help of a da Vinci robot, Dr. Haas turns this into a minimally invasive procedure, which means less trauma and scarring, a lower rate of infection, less pain, and a quicker recovery. The robot is not operating. We're the ones operating, but we're using um, advanced computerized technologies for vision and for our movements, and therefore the results uh, seem to be phenomenal. It's not fun, but it's definitely uh, a change of pace from, from uh, the disease. It, it's, it's, the quality of life definitely increases, just even with having an ostomy bag. Um, you're, not, you're not trapped by the bathroom. So, um, so it gave you freedom. It gave me freedom to be social. When Carter undergoes his final procedure in a few months, he'll be free from ostomy bags and cured of ulcerative colitis. What are your plans when you're cured? I'm, I was thinking about going back to Rice, but I think I'm going to stay in Austin. I'm transferring to UT, hopefully finish up some school there and get off my parents' payroll. <laughs> in the Texas Medical Center, Melissa Wilson, Fox 26 News.